in the heart of the haunted town, where darkness seemed to devour the very light, three stoner friends, Alex, Mike, and Jess, stood before the crumbling facade of the infamous abandoned house. Rumors whispered tales of ghastly apparitions and malevolent spirits that called this decaying structure their home. Dude, are you sure about this? Alex asked, his voice trembling with equal parts excitement and apprehension. Come on, man. It's just an old house. What could possibly go wrong? Mike said with forced bravado, trying to hide his own nerves. Right. Just an old house. And ghosts and who knows what else, Jess chimed in, her eyes darting nervously. The dare had been laid down by their mischievous friend, Jason, who stood nearby, grinning ear to ear. You guys are chicken. No way you can last the whole night in there, he taunted. Alex took a deep breath and mustered his courage. Fine, we'll do it. But if anything happens, it's on you, Jason. With that, the three friends cautiously entered the decrepit house, the flashlights illuminating the eerie shadows that danced on the crumbling walls. The air inside was stale and musty, heavy with a foreboding atmosphere that sent shivers down their spine. Okay, first things first, let's light up, Mike suggested, pulling out a joint from his pocket. This will help us stay calm, right? Jess nodded, trying to hide her trembling hands as she accepted the joint. They each took a puff, the dim light of the joint casting a ghostly glow on their faces. As they explored the haunted house, they heard unsettling creaks and groans, as if the very walls were whispering malevolent secrets. The sound of their own footsteps echoed through the empty halls, raising the hairs on their arms. Did you guys hear that? Alex whispered, his eyes darting around. Hear what? Mike replied, trying to sound nonchalant but failing. I don't know. Like a faint whisper, Alex said, feeling a knot forming in his stomach. Quit messing with us, Alex. We all know you're the scaredy, Cat here just teased, trying to lighten the mood. As they ventured deeper into the house, the atmosphere grew even more oppressive. Their flashlights flickered, casting erratic shadows on the peeling wallpaper. Suddenly, the temperature dropped, and a chill permeated the air. A door slammed shut somewhere in the distance, startling them. Dude, this place is seriously haunted, Mike exclaimed, his eyes wide with terror. Ha, huh, you're telling me you weren't scared before, Alex retorted, the joint now forgotten in his hand. Guys, I think we should get out of here, Jess said, her voice quivering. But before they could turn back, the door they had entered through slammed shut, sealing them inside. Panic gripped them as they tried to pry the door open, but it refused to budge. We're trapped, Mike shouted, his heart pounding in his chest. As they searched for another way out, the house seemed to come alive around them. Strange noises echoed from every corner, and unsettling shadows danced on the walls. Hey, look over there! Alex pointed to a mysterious trapdoor in the floor, concealed by a worn-out rug. They gathered around it, their breaths shallow with trepidation. With trembling hands, Alex pulled open the trapdoor, revealing a narrow, dusty staircase leading into darkness. Should we go down there? Jess asked, her voice barely above a whisper. What choice do we have? We can stay here. Mike said, his voice filled with resignation. They descended the creaking stairs, their flashlights flickering uncertainly. The air grew thick with an otherworldly presence, and a sense of dread weighed heavily on their chests. As they reached the bottom, they found themselves in a macabre chamber, adorned with ancient symbols and faded paintings. The room seemed frozen in time, its energy pulsating with an eerie intensity. And there, standing before them, was a ghostly figure, a spectral apparition with hollow eyes and a haunting aura. The stoners froze, their hearts pounding in their chests as the ghostly figure approached, its voice echoing through the chamber. I am the restless spirit that haunts this house. Dare you intrude upon my domain? The three friends exchanged terrified glances, their minds racing with fear and adrenaline. But just as the tension reached its peak, a burst of nervous laughter erupted from Alex. Hey, Mr. Ghost, can we interest you in a smoke? 
You seem like you could use some relaxation, he blurted out, his voice a mixture of panic and dry humor. The ghost paused, its ethereal form seeming to consider the offer. Smoke, that is, unexpected. Mike and Jess followed Alex's lead, pulling out their joint and offering it to the spectral figure. Here, dude, take a hit. It'll calm your incorporeal nerves, Mike said, a mix of terror and comedy in his voice. To their astonishment, the ghostly figure reached out and accepted the joint, its ethereal hand passing right through the physical object. But to their relief, the ghost's form seemed to relax, its eyes no longer hollow but filled with a faint sense of contentment. Thank you. Mortals, the ghost murmured, its voice now softer and less menacing. Friends watched as the ghostly figure slowly dissipated, its presence fading from the chamber. As the three stoners made their way out of the haunted house, a sense of exhilaration mingled with their lingering fear. They realized that, in the face of supernatural terror, humor, and a shared joint, had somehow saved them, and as they walked away, their laughter echoed through the night, a testament to the extraordinary experience they had just survived, a tale they would share with amused disbelief for years to come.